In the previous lesson, we did a simple example of creating a new project. We will give a brief summary of the previous example and then explain it with different more detailed examples. I drop you one on the screen and open the menu section and expand it again. In the menu section, there may be previous projects and works that we may want to open. Or there may be an image file or work in a different directory on our computer. And we can access these works and image files from the menu section. For example, below we can see the project names and saving dates of previous studies. If we want to start and work on a new project, instead of an existing or old one, we can choose to start a project by clicking on the section labeled New. When we want to start a new project, if there is a project we are working on and we have made changes to it, but we have not made the last saving, it gives a warning message. The warning message offers three different ways to choose whether to save the current project or close it without saving or to cancel the new project start. With cancel, you can cancel starting a new project. Starting a new project means exiting an existing project which means you can only open one project at a time. You can start a new project while you have an existing one. But if you quit without saving, this means that the project or the changes made will be completely lost and never accessible again. With the open command, you can import one of your previous works or a work or image file saved on your computer into the workspace as a project. This is in a sense importing projects or images. As an example, we open a previously prepared wallpaper saved on the desktop as a project. When we open a project with the open command, the canvas is automatically resized in the relevant setting according to the image or project area. Using the rectangular selection tool, we select the wallpaper image covering the surface of the canvas with the control plus a key combination. Once the selection is made, we can resize it proportionally or disproportionately by holding down the shift or control keys and the left mouse button in the corners. By minimizing, you can see the white background behind. As an example, and for clarity, we have created some more space in the canvas and we will import another image file externally. The command depicted in the menu section with the symbol insert and the downward arrow allows you to import an image file from outside the project and include it in your work. After selecting the insert command, we select the directory address or the image itself and include it in our project. The channel crest image we designed before is on the desktop. We take the channel crest image from the desktop and add it to the project. The crest image has been added to the workspace in its own size, with its selected state. At this stage, we can include it in the project by pressing enter or we can complete the placement process after repositioning and resizing operations. We first resize and then select a suitable position in the canvas. Confirm with the Enter key and include it in the project. The top left corner is suitable for the coat of arms. We have confirmed the new size and position with the Enter key. However, since our canvas expands automatically, we trim the excess parts with the Crop tool. If we hold down the Shift or Control keys while cropping, we can crop proportionally from opposite edges or all corners. It is also possible to select the crop area using the left mouse button to shrink or expand a single edge or a single corner. When we come back to the menu, there is a save option just below the insert command. This is a direct save option and can have irreversible consequences if not used carefully. 
So we will save it as a new file with save as. We select the file format as PNG and thanks to save as. We will automatically save a copy of the file as a different file. After typing the file name as test v1. Select the save directory as desktop and confirm the save. Notice that the new test v1 file and the old wallpaper remain preserved on the desktop. With insert, we repeat the same step-by-step -step process to import one more channel crest image and place it on our canvas. This time we convert the imported coat of arms image to a smaller size. Similarly, after completing the cropping process, we draw something representative on the canvas with the marker pen tool. As we mentioned before, when we go back to the menu, just below the insert command is the save option, which is the option to save directly. If not used carefully, it can have irreversible consequences. We will explain this very important issue with an example. We saved it directly. This was actually the first wallpaper project we opened. The file name is already written above and it is now permanently changed to the last save. If we don't have a backup saved in another directory, the first wallpaper project is now permanently transformed and changed. When we get to the desktop, we see that the wallpaper is now a new wallpaper with the latest changes. One solution would be to go back to the Paint 3D editor and run the undo command and then save directly again. But the undo command is limited to the process records in temporary memory. It is always risky to use the direct save command carelessly and recklessly anyway. The undo command in the program is only valid for operations within the program. As the file name indicates, the direct saving after the changes we made replaced the existing file. In other words, it completely changed our wallpaper image. This is why save as is so important for things without a backup. Of course, as a different precautionary solution to this situation, we kept the backup copy in a different file. First of all, we changed the name of the file we changed against the risk of conflict to a different name, namely test v2. And as we mentioned, we move another copy of our wallpaper image file to the desktop and the backup folder we created previously. We import our wallpaper image into the Paint 3D editor again. We trim the black bands on the right and left side with the cropping tool. Then, this time more carefully, we save it to desktop as test v3 inch peg format via the save as option. If you pay attention this time, you will see that the original version of the first wallpaper is preserved on the desktop. You can also see other new and old saves. We go back to the Paint 3D editor and start a new clean project. To import external image files, we can add them to the current work by drag and drop. For some examples, we add a few image files that we have previously prepared on the desktop to our open project. In the Paint 3D editor by drag and drop. Since the purpose is to show, we also cancel the external files we have included with the undo command.
This series of tutorials on our channel will teach you step by step how to use the Paint 3D editor, each one covering a different topic. We will start with basic tasks and gradually move towards more complex features. Each chapter will build on the knowledge from the previous chapters so that you can learn effectively and efficiently. We will continue the series with more beautiful trainings and we will be with you again very soon. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications for new videos. See you again soon and thanks for watching.